I did not use this camera yesterday because I'm having autofocus issues. I always gotta do this for it to focus. And that's not good. That's okay, now, too tedious. This is a bike. This is a motorcycle. Guess who I'm watching? I'm looking up on YouTube to see what the issue is with the autofocus on this. Is. So it is confirmed that the uh, autofocus on this is really, really slow. Shit. One thing I forgot to overlook is the autofocusing of this camera. And on top of that, it doesn't save it to MP4. I still have to convert it to MP4. Maximum joke. Let me do some anyway, it's here. I gotta make the best of it. I'll use it. I just gotta remember to focus first before I start rolling. 20x, 26x, and now. Other than that, it's an okay camera. 5,000. All right, guys. It's so hot today. I'm gonna take a little nap. Play some catch up and sleep. Stuff to do. I gotta go to developer this place to the developer. Uh, yesterday, when my wife was doing the laundry around 8 30, we saw some guy here peeking. He climbed up, peeked, keep peeking, 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 looking in, looking in into our, in our yard here. Because on the other side, there's a developer, they're building, it's another subdivision that they're building, same developer. Okay, we just got finished first, like, back in 2008. Anyway, um, someone climbed and they probably thought we didn't see it because the CCTV over there saw it. Okay, and uh, they shouldn't be doing that, right? Uh, they really shouldn't. Because... That number one, that's invasion of property, I uh, invasion of privacy, and uh, that's peeping. That's called the peeping tom, and, uh, and and I don't know what their intentions were, but today I gotta go to the developer. I'm not gonna mention what developer, but uh, they are liable for anything that happens. They are liable because these it is, it is it is their workers, okay. Uh, so yesterday I already went to the security and to the barangay to do a plot uh, to do a blotter, but you know it's the Philippines. You know, you, you never know if there's really happening behind the scenes. Anything really happening behind the scenes. So, you know, there's no assurance of anything. There's no assurance of anything here. I mean, yeah, you do go in for a file of complaint, but who knows what's happening after that? Maybe something, maybe nothing. Most likely nothing. So we got to take all the steps that we need to take to cover our butt, you know what I mean, legally. And... Um, and to cover whatever other formalities there is to steps there is to, to take because that's not good because you know they, they climbed up I think they have a ladder posted up right there on the other side they climbed up started peeking around my wife was doing laundry over there you know and uh, it's, it's not like just a simple peek or like a second or two it was like they really they really climbed up Peeked around, scoped, scoped the place out to see how they could probably get in, number one, to see what we have in the back of here that they could take, you know, and and my Marco wasn't even really barking, so that tells me that Marco has seen the, wh whoever that person is multiple times here, or at least smelled them, and he's already become familiarized with that person, so... That's not good, Marco. You have to bark every time, each and every time. Okay? So now I'm going to wait till 8 o'clock or so to, to make another complaint with the developer. Alright? Because last night was with the security. Alright? So, and then last night I went to the brown guy. And today I got to go to the developer because this is a private, this is private property. The brown guy really can't do anything, which makes sense. It's because it's kind of the same way in the United States. If it's private property, then, you know, it's kind of settled between the, the both parties, right? So that's what I got to do. Gotta do. Gives me more shit to do today. But that's not cool. I mean, they need to give us some assurance that something is happening and they can't take this matter lightly. 
So with that said, even though we don't really have the money, the extra money to spare for this project, I think we're going to have to go ahead and enclose the rest of the back. I don't want to do this because, you know, I like sunlight. Sunlight is important. Daylight is important. You know, what, you know, you know in, in the way I grew up, what I was taught by my parents was a dark house is not good. It's not good. It, it means dark life, dark, dark, dark life, gloomy life. So at least let the sunlight in your house, crash it on jaws, yada, yada, yada. I believe in that. But now, you know, living here in the Philippines, especially if you have a family, you have to take all the steps and measures to protect your family. You guys have seen the outside of my house many, many times. All those bars? Do you think I want that? I don't want that. I didn't grow up like that. I didn't, I didn't grow up in a house where there's bars all over the place. 360 degrees everywhere. You know what I mean? But I realize we're in an environment, we are in an environment where it is required. 90, 95% of the homes here in the Philippines have bars. In the windows, in the front, you know, besides the gate, they have bars. Around the perimeter, perimeter. That's just how it is here. Do I like it? Of course not. I didn't grow up like that. I didn't grow up with bars, all kinds of shit of bars around the house, looking like Fort Knox, you know, so looking like some kind of jail cell. I'm not used to this, but it has to be done. Right? So, uh, I'm just waiting till 8 o'clock here and I'm going to make my way over to the developer and we'll see what we can do. They better, they better step up and own up to their guys because those are their guys. You know what I mean? So, whatever happens, they are liable. They are liable. No matter how much they're gonna try and bullshit me today, which I know they will. I'm sorry to say it's just 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 typical Filipino bullshit that they'll try and bullshit, they'll try and bullshit their way out of situations. Even though even though the reasons that they use are completely bogus and illogical. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, I don't want to use this vlog as a as a time to rant and stuff like that. Again, I'm not putting Filipinos down. I'm not putting the country down. I'm Filipino myself. Once I do that, it's like I'm putting down myself, I'm putting down my parents, I'm putting down my ancestry. So I would never, I would never, never, ever, ever put down the Filipino people or the country. But the thing is, when I see things, I call it out. It's because it's the truth. It doesn't mean I'm putting down my culture, my people. No. For some of you, get your heads out of the damn fucking gutter. That's not, that's not, that's not what it means. All right. Anyway, it's about thirty more minutes. My wife is cooking breakfast, eggs, and sitting sedalag. So we'll see what pans out. If they're responsive, great. And but you know, I'm 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 really anticipating for a kind of BS, BS, ass for to to take place later. Yeah. You know, I think, they're, I think they're just going to take it lightly. Okay, sir. Noted, sir. Noted, sir. Okay, sir. Action on Kapo, sir. But then in the background, how can you be really sure they're taking action? I mean, what's happening? You know? Do you just, do you just take their word? Do you just take their word for it? Who knows? Right? So, I'm going to ask for a copy of the uh, security. Security said they're going to make a report. Last night, they didn't take any pictures of anything. For evidence, they just said, oh, okay, well, yeah, that's where he stood up. That's where he stood up. Oh, that's the ladder they used to stand up. In. But, you know, they didn't take pictures or anything. So, I don't know what kind of training they receive here, but, yeah, that's evidence. But, okay, well, document the evidence, right? They did it. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, I don't know. It's just level, the level of negligence here, guys, is just really, really high. You can't really, you can't really count on, you know, certain people like let's say you know the, the construction company they have their guys right and if their guys fuck around like that you know you can't really rely on the, uh, the construction company for example to take action against their guys you, you, you know what i mean so that their loan that's negligent because they are responsible for their guys even if they try and bullshit you and say well we can't control our guys they, they're gonna do what they're gonna do we can't control them yeah but these guys work for you Whatever they do, you are responsible. Am I right or wrong? For all of you that are educated and know what's right and wrong, am I right or am I wrong? I'm right, right? But unfortunately, for some of my fellow countrymen Filipinos, they don't understand that concept, you know? 
Yeah, I understand. The guy's actions should be his own. But to say at the same time, the guy works for you. Okay? The guy works for you. Whatever your guy does, he does something good. Great. You're part of that. He does something bad. You're also part of that. And you have to, you know, whatever happens bad, you have to step up, fix it. Because that's your guy. Right? Anyway. I'll take you along with me to the uh, place. I don't know how they do with cameras. If they don't allow the camera, then I'm sorry. If they do, then I'll roll. And if not, then I'll just give you guys a, a briefing of what transpired. Okay? But I'm pretty sure I'm going to get bullshit. So, any of you that's here in the Philippines, living here already, are going to live here. Get ready to take things, matters, in your own hands. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I just came from running around. I spoke to the uh, Hemi. They call it the Hemi department. So that would be probably equivalent to product, the project, the property management department, I guess, of the developer. I, uh, whoever wants the damn operations back there that's building the new subdivision. Uh, they said that they would uh, put guards at night time in that particular area. And uh, I told them to clear out all the construction material that's leading up against the fence that you know that can be used as a makeshift ladder or stepping stool or stepping device or whatever however you want to word it that can help that will you know enable the whoever from looking over the fence into our side so let's see i told them that to give me a copy of the report uh as soon as it becomes available uh at first they were like no i can't because uh, it is confidential, I tell them, what do you mean confidential? I'm the complainant. So I guess it made sense to them, so I'm waiting for that report. And uh, let's see what pans out from here moving forward. I couldn't really uh, record inside their office because I, I felt that it wasn't appropriate to do so. So I'll just keep you guys abreast as to what happened, transpired with that. So. It's in the hands. Let's see. Well, we just finished putting more cameras in the back. Well, one more camera. We have one there. We just added one more. So two. And, uh, and a solar light. PIR motion solar light. Not satisfied with the camera though. It's just for basic monitoring. There's no SD card. It's not a wide angle lens. Well, it's something. I gotta get my kids. Alright guys, I'm back. Touch time and I'm hungry. Starving. Slow, 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 slow and autofocus. I'm focusing. Alright, I'm drinking with Brother Ressi right here. And okay. it's been a long day. Taking care. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's yeah. dark. But uh, it's been a long day. We've been drinking right here, and uh, we're gonna close out the vlog right here. I dealing with all, all kinds of stuff with the security stuff and uh, police, the reports. I think it's about to be done. They already sent me a copy, so now it's time to chill. I'm about to go home. I'm getting drunk. Have anything to say, bro, Resty? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. See y'all in the next one.